Good morning, Harrisburg High, John Harris Campus. My name is Mahin, and it is time for your morning announcement. At this time, we will now recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Please be respectful and stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we will recite the vision. The vision of Harrisburg High John Harris Campus is to graduate scholars who are able to compete in a global society. Cut. The truth. Good morning, Cougars. Welcome back, John Harris students. My name is Edwin, and I will be your weather man. Back with another great week of weather. Monday, February 12th, high of 44, low of 26, mostly cloudy. Tuesday, February 13th, high of 39, low of 32, some sun, then it will be turning cloudy throughout the day. Wednesday, February 14th, high of 51, low of 37, rain and a possible drizzle as the day goes on. Thursday, February 15th, high of 54, low of 40, a shower in the morning, so wait till you have your umbrella or whatever you need. Friday, February 16th, high of 48, low of 24, with a chance of a little afternoon rain. This has been Edward Cruz with the weather for this week. See you next week. Hey guys, the spotlight, it's your boy Kyrell, and we got Purcell here. How you doing? Purcell is an author, and he's only 17, yep, 17. years of age, and I think he's going to be real successful in the near future. I heard you're a participant at the MLK Showcase downtown. How was that? It was good. It was good. It was good. I was like, were you nervous at all? I mean, I had a lot of experience with it. For with being in it for almost 15 years so it was just like pretty much like another show right. so we have a book here by Purcell it's called I'm to blame I suggest you all to purchase this book because it's very interesting and it'll put a lot of knowledge into your brain now question about the books what inspired you to write this book the thing that inspired me was my city my city actually inspired me to write that book what about what about your city well, you know, a lot of people talk down on my city, you know. I'm from Harrisburg, so, you know, I had to prove that Harrisburg is more than what people say it is. They say that we're, that we're not going to grow up to be anything but, you know, on the street, selling drugs or in jail. So I wanted to prove to them that, as a youth, you can do greater things than what they say. Greatly agree with that. And another question I have for you. Was it tough to, you know, work on this? Um, that book, no, not necessarily, but the books I have coming up with, yes, it's hard. So, another question. Are you going to work for yourself, or are you going to be employed by a different company? Right now, I'm going to stick with being self-published um, for the time being, only because I, I am still in high school, working with other people, signing contracts. It's a lot right now to be on high school's plea. Right. And one more question. What type of books do you prefer to write? Um, right now, um, I'm in the middle of writing a sci-fi fiction one yeah. right now. It's pretty cool. Um, that, that book that you, uh, I'm to blame is actually a, a memoir. I'd rather write a memoir right now because it's easier to talk about yourself because you lived it so you already know exactly what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. All right. Thanks. For joining us today, Percy. No problem, man. Like I said, purchase this book. Very interesting. Only five dollars. Wow. Oh.